Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to improve your CRS score. This video applies to both PNP and Express Entry streams, so watch the entire video to know how to improve your CRS score. Hey guys, this is Sunil Raj from Immigrate Abroad. If you wish to immigrate to Canada, do check out my channel. I have uploaded a lot of videos to save your money and help you out with step-by-step -step instructions for your immigration process. I upload videos regularly, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe now so you don't miss any updates on upcoming videos. The CRS or the Comprehensive Ranking System is a method that IRCC uses to evaluate how you will rank in the Express Entry pool amongst other candidates. Your Express Entry and some PNP profile is assessed based on the following criteria. So your skills, education, language ability, work experience and a few other factors. You will receive points in various categories and the combined total of points make up your CRS score. The same applies for your expression of interest point system for some PNP streams like Saskatchewan PNP or Ontario PNP. Your first option is to improve your language test scores. This is probably one of the quickest ways to boost your CRS score. Simply retake your original first language test. The highest Canadian language benchmark level you can achieve is CLB9. So if you have scored anything less, there's always room to claim extra points. Language ability is worth up to 260 CRS points in total for a single candidate or up to 270 points for a couple. Getting a CLB9 in each ability also triggers a jump in points under the skills transferability factors. The exact jump depends on your level of education and work experience. Skills transferability factors can result in a maximum of 100 points, so be sure you get as many of these points as you can. Many PNP programs also give points to your language ability score and if you have a CLB level 9, it increases your expression of interest profile points. Learning a second official language is your next best option. You can claim points for both English and French under the CRS system. If you are fluent in both languages, make sure that you take an approved language test in both English and French to ensure that you are getting as many points as possible. Plus, there are bonus points available to bilingual candidates and certain PNP streams are only open to French speakers. If you are competent in both English and French, don't miss out on this opportunity. If you are not fluent in French, then you should consider investing your time in learning French to improve your CRS score as this doesn't take a long time compared to the rest of the options that are available. Learning French will also open up a lot of bilingual job opportunities once you land in Canada. Your third option is to gain more work experience. If you are working outside Canada but have less than three years of full-time work experience, keep working. While this work won't bring points under the human capital factors, it is rewarded in the skills transferability combinations. As long as you indicate that your employment is ongoing on your Express Entry profile, your CRS score will automatically update when you reach a new threshold of work experience. The same applies to many PNP programs where you receive additional points if you have three or more years of work experience. Your fourth option is to complete another education program. Gaining more education can result in a much higher CRS score. Not only do you receive CRS points for your level of education, but also in the skills transferability factors section of the comprehensive ranking system. You can gain a maximum of 100 points through the skills transferability factor. In terms of education, to maximize your skills transferability points, you must complete two or more post-secondary credentials and at least one must have been for a program of three years or longer. If you already have a bachelor's degree, you can complete another one-year program and this will likely make you eligible for higher points under skills transferability factor. PNP programs also award points for education and higher your education, more points are awarded to your expression of interest PNP profile. Your fifth option is to get a Canadian job offer. Obtaining such an offer, particularly if you are not currently in Canada, may seem difficult, but there are steps you can take that may increase your chances of success. Getting a job offer in Canada before you make the move is always a good idea, but it's important to note that if you want to claim points for it, it should meet certain criteria. The job offer must be a full-time continuous paid employment offer for at least one year and you will need the offer in writing from your employer. 
by having a valid job offer in Canada, you will not only make things easier for yourself once you arrive, but you will be able to add 50 to 200 CRS points to your score. Your next option gives you the maximum number of CRS points. Get a provincial nomination. If you receive a provincial nomination, you will get an additional 600 points towards your CRS score, which will effectively guarantee you receiving an ITA. Scoring more points in the previously mentioned five options can help you receive a provincial nomination. IRCC is gradually increasing nomination allocations to the provinces and the provinces are looking to welcome a portion of newcomers through these programs. Your next option is to apply for express entry with your spouse. By submitting your application with your spouse or common law partner, you could boost your CRS score. You could earn up to 20 points for your language skills, 10 points if either of you has Canadian work experience and another 10 points each for your education qualification which adds up to 40 points. If your spouse is younger to you, they could receive a higher CRS score in some cases. So decide who the principal applicant will be based on whoever has the highest CRS points. Apart from the mentioned 7 options, there are other ways where you can not only increase your CRS score but increase your chances of becoming a PR. I'll create another video on those options through which you can become a PR.